So I'm gonna hold on promoting you this quarter. Cool? Drop the taco, get in the car. Once again, Bria Larson is stunning and brave. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on YouTube.com, we're going to talk about the 2020 Nissan Sentra sedan. It's an all new Nissan Sentra. Now, I saw this ad appear in my feed and I was intrigued. What could Bria Larson possibly have to tell me about getting a new car? Well, it's very simple. It's all about empowerment of females. So stunning and brave. I can feel it in my bones. Here you can see all new Nissan Sentra refuse to compromise. And of course, the commercial starts off with a woman being told by her boss that she can't be promoted this quarter. And then Bria Larson comes and says, drop the taco, honey. Now, um, that's a good, that's a good line there. There's certainly no way that taco can be misrepresented in any sort of way as a uh, some sort of racial or sexual slur. Uh, you know, I'm uh, not sure about that one. In the car. Does this Sentra feel like a compromise to you? Wait, what? The handling, it's good, right? No compromise there. Nope. Watch this. Come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. The entire premise of this commercial is never compromise. Oh, never compromise, because that's totally a healthy attitude for anyone to have, female or not. Now, as you can probably already tell, this is an ad about feminism. It's an ad about empowerment of women and an ad about how men are all douchebags. Because apparently, you know, all male men, all male bosses are obviously out to get women. All women who don't get promotions are oppressed. You know, th there's no chance that maybe, just maybe, the reason she didn't get the promotion is because she wasn't the best for the job. Maybe, just maybe, she didn't earn it. Maybe she's just not good enough. But no, um, never compromise. That's a healthy attitude because you can certainly get everything you want in life by never compromising. Wrong! Yeah, that's not how life works. Everything in life is compromise, okay? You want to get a raise? You got to compromise somewhere. You want to work out a relationship? You got to compromise somewhere. Anything you do in life is going to require a little bit of compromise. But let's just see. What, what is the grand message here? Maybe maybe they'll talk about compromise as well. For your automatic break. So if this Nissan Sentra isn't going to compromise, why should you? You're right. Atta girl. The only Nissan Sentra. So if this car is not going to compromise, why should you? Well, maybe because it's a car and you're a person. I mean, I feel like we're talking about completely different things here. Now, Bria Larson, it's uh, it's well known that she's one of the most unlikable people on the planet. Okay, she's stuck up. She's kind of like tightly wound. She doesn't really seem like someone who'd be fun to talk to. And she said a lot of very woke, very progressive, very feminist, and honestly, the very mean things. She's not a pleasant person. Uh, remember the time when she said, this movie's not for white guys. Don't watch it. You're probably thinking right now, like, wow, that super doesn't represent the country that I live in, and that's because that's true. This is a huge disconnect from the US population breakdown of 30% white men, 30% white women, 20% men of color, and 20% women of color. So why does that matter? Why am I up here giving you statistics when I could be spending this time talking about my publicist? Ah, uh, you want to talk about percentages? Hmm. Reminds me of a certain percentage people keep saying. I'm not sure what it means. Was it 12? 14? 13? Something about halves of 13. It's clear um, she also has a bias against certain groups of people, for example, white men. She says time and time again, no, I don't hate white men. I just think there's too many white men here. On top of all of this, am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Other people besides white dudes, besides white dudes, like Star Wars, and for the third time, I don't hate white dudes. These are just facts. These are not my feelings. And these are just facts. Yeah, that's not discriminatory in any sort of way. Why don't you judge people by their accomplishments and by their actions than what you think they do or don't deserve? Maybe if you were able to see white men as people, maybe if you're able to see past your identity politics, not only would maybe more people like you, 
But maybe you would actually understand that just because you're female, it doesn't mean you deserve a promotion. So that was that, right? That was that cringy commercial that's 30,000 views on uh, Nissan USA on their YouTube channel and 3,000 dislikes, 200 likes. They disabled comments and, you know, Anytime anything, on, like any forum on the internet, whether it's a video, whether it's a blog, whether it's uh, the news, if there are no comments or if the comment section is disabled or moderated, anything and everything they have to say is absolute and utter garbage. It is garbage. This is how you know that nothing they say has any value and is not worth listening to and it's worth discarding. So I'm sorry, Nissan, not only has this commercial ensured that I will never buy a Nissan. I will never ever trust anything your company has to say because your company doesn't let me have anything to say either. Unfortunately for you, I'm going to talk regardless. So they recently released this follow-up video and it's called Refuse to Compromise Explained by Brio Larson, all new Nissan Sentra. It's already got 200 dislikes, it's getting ratioed, and wouldn't you know it, comments are still up. So I want to review this short interview and then we'll take a look at some comments. Oh boy, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I feel so stunning and brave. What was it about the idea of no compromises that resonated with you? The fact that I was pitched this concept that on the surface, just looking at the ad itself, that it is about sisterhood, yep. pumping each other up, community, yep. and allowing each other to have the opportunity to believe in ourselves because that really feels like the first step with all of this. So she's saying a lot of buzzwords, community, sisterhood. Um, she didn't mention the taco, which I feel is like central to the thesis of the video. Clearly the taco represents the, the hard shell of business, right? So men are this hard shell of business and, and they're holding the whole thing together. But the real star of the show is, is the lettuce and the meat and the cheese and the, and the meat, right? So clearly the men are um, oppressing the taco, like the inside is the women. That would be the women, the minorities, you know, the whole shebang. The key is to get rid of the taco, to drop the taco, drop the men, so that the insides can shine. But wouldn't that just mean that the whole thing would collapse and fall on the floor? No, 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 no. Females can be the taco as well. But why do they throw away the taco? It's art, you wouldn't understand. It's like you can't be what you can't see. And so I think actually following someone's journey in disbelief into belief is, is, is a powerful image. But I gotta be honest, what exactly is empowering or e even cool about that crummy commercial? It's only 30 seconds long. Is there a pivotal moment or event in your life that kind of where you transitioned into this idea of no compromise? There was a moment where I remember going in on my 10,000th audition, going in and being prepared and having what I felt like was all the credentials that I needed, and a guy on the other side of the table give me a bad note. And I remember walking out being like, I don't want to be on the wrong side of the table anymore. I want to be part of the conversation. Like, I don't want to feel this distance. So she's complaining about failing so many auditions, and if I had to guess, you failed so many auditions because you're just unlikable inherently. And I'm not trying to be mean here, but take a look at this clip. Hi, I'm Brie Larson, and this is my wife. No, God! Interview. I'm just not that good at it. Is that like a personal attack or something? It's a wonder that I even made it into this interview. Who is Captain Marvel? Let's start at the beginning. Uh, Captain Marvel is a character that is now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No shit. <laughs> As you can see, she's basically a meme at this point. You know, people don't criticize you because um, you're a woman. It has nothing to do with your gender. It has everything to do with the fact that you honestly have no talent. Um, the Ms. Marvel movie was horrible. Your acting is pretty bad. Um, you, you just have a, you have no expressions. Uh, actually, let's take a look at a meme. So I compiled this image of Bria Larson and I, I wanted to show you all of her marvelous expressions so that you could kind of see the, the talent and the depth of her character. Here you can see she has um, neutral expression. Uh, it's very fascinating, it looks very good. I see there's so much emotion there. Here we have neutral expression. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's so different. She turned her head slightly in this frame. Here you can see neutral expression. Oh, well, it's too beautiful. I'm crying in a puddle of my own tears. This is art. Oh, but, but, but that's not all folks. We got more, we got, we got more beauty. Neutral expression, oh, oh, my heart. Neutral expression, oh, it never gets old. Wait a second here. 
There's something similar about all these images, but I can't just place my finger on it. She's very talented. You and I both work in heavily male-dominated industries. Was that something that you were aware of when you first started out? And if so, did you start to change your approach um, in order to address that? Again, we're going with this narrative that all women are victims, all women are oppressed, and maybe men are just go-getters. Maybe men are expected in our society to basically provide and take care of themselves. No one's expected to help a man. You know, our society tells us that a woman will probably be able to find a man to take care of her, and that's the way it's been. It's the way it's always going to be. I'm not saying women can't take care of themselves or provide. Plenty do and plenty can. What I'm saying is that in an equal society in which we live in, men and women have choices. A lot of men decide to have careers. A lot of women may decide that they don't really care about careers as much as finding a husband, having a family, and living a good, productive life. Now, according to feminists, that is a bad thing. I think it's a beautiful thing, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So, again, they're always complaining about gender gaps and male dominated fields but the reality is women are free to join those fields if they want but most women choose not to so this gives them the false impression that women are being oppressed when in reality most women just don't care i mean that's the goal it's you never know what the impact will be but i have good intentions <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe for one nanosecond that Brie Larson has good intentions, clearly. She is deluded with her beliefs, like most celebrities, clueless, rich. Um, she doesn't actually deserve, from what I can tell, the position she has. She has no talent. I mean, this girl lacks assets, man. I'm being literal here. Even Spider-Man had a nicer asset than she did. Better actor, too. You know, the funniest part of this meme is that they actually did hire a stunt double and you could tell when it wasn't Brie Larson in the movie. First of all, stress less because you're exactly where you need to be. So. And it's so hard and I still struggle with that. I still, I still have a hard time. The reason you struggle with stress is because you're deranged, you live in a bubble universe with other progressive leftists, you all drank the woke Kool-Aid, the progressive agenda Kool-Aid, and you believe that you're victims despite being rich, powerful, and famous. Now, whether you deserve it or not is up to opinion, but what I can say is this. You are completely and utterly deranged. You do not like white men. You regularly discriminate. Instead of focusing on people's actions, you focus on people's skin color. If not, you wouldn't have bashed white men. You wouldn't have bashed men. You wouldn't be pushing this narrative that women are victims when you yourself is, are more successful than me, for example. You, you are delusional. So if you're stressed, it is your fault. I think the universe is very funny, and sometimes it just takes, a, takes it a couple years to get to the punchline, yeah. but she's getting to it. Yep. I like how she automatically assumes that the universe is female. First of all, you bigot. Don't assume the universe is gender, okay? That being said, I'm sure the universe is actually female. But only because I sexualize everything. Oh yeah, give me that universe chan. I want the memes. And remember, no compromise. So I think this, this whole slogan and this whole attitude is a perfect example of the entitlement in modern society. People think they can have it all. They think they never have to compromise. That's not how life works. All adults know this. All grown-up people know this. All sane and rational people know this. Now, let's just take a quick look at the comment section. Before they delete it, no doubt, Texan player says, How many likes can this comment get before comments get disabled as this commercial? Let's find out. Rick Sanford says, They've already turned off the comments for the official commercial, probably because they got roasted online. Luke Not Skywalker says, just like that, I'm no longer considering Nissan for my next car. Get woke, go broke. But you know what, my friends, that's pretty much a video that pretty much sums it up. Um, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. These companies can go woke. They're definitely gonna go broke. Bria Larson is boring and unlikable. Not a good spokesperson. I will never buy a Nissan so long as I live. This commercial was cringe. Now, don't get me wrong. I support meritocracy. I think if a woman or a man earn a promotion, they should get that promotion, you know, Lord willing, they're the best candidate for the job, perfectly acceptable, but this commercial is not. That's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this? <laughs> what do you think about this story? What do you think about Bria Larson? Do you think she has good intentions in her life? Hmm. 
there's a lot of people in history who had good intentions or <laughs> and they went down in history as some of the worst men to ever live so you know be sure to let me know what you think now as always if you like the content please Subscribe, first of all, click the bell button so you get notifications. You can follow me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Doing so will give you access to a private Discord server. This is a guaranteed bonus as long as you join. And sharing the video is always appreciated. Show everybody this stunning and brave commercial. Show everyone the glory of Bria Larson. Oh, they just never learn, do they? I'm in tears. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious. And I'll see you all next time.